Well, that sucks. Let's take a look at this coming up. Good Lord, one second left. Not even, oh Jesus. You know, you felt, I, I, I felt like there was an impending doom all night in that game. I don't know about you guys, really. The way we were standing around in our zone again at certain points and the way they dominated the boards, really, this, this is, uh, it has to be addressed. We've got to address the physical play of this hockey team because we've got tools. Like today we did good on the face-off. We cashed in on chances. We look good at certain points and then we go to sleep. And what usually wakes up a team when a team goes to sleep is a big hit, which we never get. We never get. We didn't get one all period, really. I mean, it wasn't nothing that impressed me. So, shots 36-22. But on the face sauce, we did good today. 56-44 for us, you know, 44% for them. It was, uh, yeah, finally. Power play clicked. They only had one power play. They scored. Uh, here it is, the hits, 34-16 for them. And they said before the game they were going to be more physical. They even said it. I was listening to the Rangers channel and they made it clear they intended on being more physical than us in this game because they know that's the way to beat this team. Uh, 15 blocks Buffalo, 10 them, and give away 7, and they had 8. Now, shots on goal, 8-8. Eight, eight. Then 15-10 for them in the second. Entertaining second. And we went to sleep in the third, 13-4 for them. You know, and, and the thing is, they even brought in... Uh, they even brought in, uh, what's his name, uh, Shish, uh, Shishterkin. They even brought him in. So they took this game serious to win, and they had every intention of trying to squeeze this win out, which, of course, doesn't surprise me when any, with any team. But they made the goalie change they felt would give them the best chance. Or uh, maybe, uh, maybe there was an injury. We don't know, but I don't know. I, all I know, guys, is that Dell couldn't make a save... Uh, <laughs> with a second left and you know the um the clock just wouldn't run out at the end i was watching that clock tick down too just hoping we get to overtime you know and then it came out i was like oh my god really and then they scored it's like uh, i can't remember the last time the sabers lost a game with less than a second left i i really can't you know i remember as a kid uh, I seen a game with the Montreal Toronto that happened with one second left, but I, I, I that was one nothing the score that night. I was a kid, I was tiny, so like I, there's not many games this happens. So they won this game, in my opinion, guys, because they dominated the boards. In a, in a nutshell, they dominated the boards. But it just sucks we didn't get a point out of the deal. It really does because we had it. Uh, you know, we let it slip out of our fingers. This is, I don't want to say the old cliche, a good learning experience because there's nothing good about this experience. What this is, maybe, maybe they'll get angry now because they got to get angry. This team, I haven't seen this team angry in a month now. It's ridiculous. They've got to get angry. They've got to get more physical. The things that, that, that wins hockey games, you know? you know, when you're down and you're not getting offensive chances, I honestly believe a big hit wakes up the bench. It's frustrating. <laughs> it's frustrating. This is a frustrating loss. You know, I'm not going to take anything away from the Rangers. They outshot us. They outhit us. They outchanced us overall. And uh, Dell just is, you know, he, he's, I don't think he's up to the challenge of playing on the team. I don't think he should get any more starts at this point, really. And I don't want to leave him out to dry is the only reason we lost. I don't want to do that because that's too easy of a cop out not to look at the lack of physical play in this game by blaming the goalie. That, that, that discounts the fact that we were wusses again on the boards. We're gonna get exposed a lot this year if we don't start getting you know, tougher. We've gotta get tougher. This team is not tough. And that is why we lost, really, in my books. I'm not even gonna blame only Dell. Dell was not very good in nets. You know, he, he just wasn't. Um, he made a few saves, but, you know, he's supposed to. He's the goalie. <laughs> he's supposed to make some. But overall, just a frustrating night, guys. Really, it's just a frustrating loss. Like, you know, I couldn't believe I looked at the TV. I see 0 0.4. I go, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> like, come on. You know, I thought the 12-second thing with the, uh, with the Leafs was something, but this is ridiculous, you know. Thank God we play tomorrow. 
It's the only way to bury this memory is, is come out and win tomorrow. So I'm hoping the Sabres tomorrow just, I, I hope they're angry. I really hope that this is enough to wake them up because they woke up at certain points in this game. We looked good at certain points in this game. We were skating good at certain points in this game. We were passing good. Uh, but the boneheaded mistakes in our zone continue to happen. They continue to happen. Maybe not as much tonight, though. I will say that. It wasn't as bad tonight in our zone like it has been. But, you know, the, the, still, I mean, to, to not be able to, you know, kill off the final three, four seconds is just ridiculous. Really, it is. You know, if you look, there was two guys on, on, uh, on Tage in that last play. I mean, get the help in there. You know, there's too many reasons why that last goal happened, but it really doesn't matter. It's one mistake, and 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 uh, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. But we play tomorrow. I'm just letting this one go, guys. I am going to call my little friend Amanda. She's in the hospital again. So good thoughts sent out to her, please. She's she's struggling again, and um, uh, and she's had a. Um, uh, um, uh, situation again with her health. So um, I'm going to go give her a call, see how she's doing. Um, thank God it's not the playoffs. There's the bright side to tonight, guys. It's not the playoffs. And no matter what, we just have to, I think, really address getting physical. This team is not a physical team. And I don't care if we're in the speed era. You have to have a dimension on your team of physical play. We're not intimidating. We are not intimidating. I am going to actually research soon to see the top hitting teams because it's hard to find that stat. I'll have to research each team. I'm very curious where we stand there. And if there's any thing I don't like in Granado's coaching is he doesn't really teach physical play, I find. Not enough. They were more physical under Kruger than when he took over. Now, I get, I, I get we much better under Granado. Don't get me wrong. But... I want to see an element of physical play on our team because it's part of the game. It's why the Rangers won. I really believe the Rangers won that game because they dominated the boards all night long. They did. Every time the, they came in to get the puck, it almost looked like we were turtling up. No. Can't play like that and win games, guys. We just can't. That's where I'm at with it. I'm letting this go. I'm going to watch some TV. I'm going to give Amanda a call, see how she's doing. And real life takes over from this point on. We'll see tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk uh, the pregame the pre uh, video. We'll look at that tomorrow. Right now, guys, I just want to go relax and not let this ruin my night because something like this could eat me alive all night long. I'm just letting this go. I'm moving on. And um, hopefully the Sabres tomorrow will be angry as hell. And they should be. They should be angry as hell coming into next game. I hope tomorrow they explode for like six, seven goals. And just don't put Dell in though, please, please. I'd rather have Darlene in Nets, honestly, at this point. I don't want Dell anymore. <laughs> I don't want any more Dell. No more Dell. It's enough. It's, you know, these last second goals he gives up. I can't take it. I can't do it again. So, <laughs> all right. Have a good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.